What's going on? We're back. Episode 2 of Peacemaker on HBO Max. I've got my Peacemaker t-shirt on. If you want to get a Peacemaker t-shirt, check the link down below for TMF Apparel. I've got like three of them up there. I got an Eagly t-shirt, a Peacemaker, two Peacemakers on there. Let's get after it. So, my first episode review was this show is an absolute dumpster fire. That's how it felt. Episode 2, uh, they put a little more gas in the dumpster, but also... It got a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit better. It, it, the comical part of this show is John Cena being arguably like the worst superhero you could be. He's like a, a mixture between Superman and it's like if Superman had a, had a kid with Homelander from the boys, but also they dropped him on his head a lot when he was a baby. That's Peacemaker. So, you know, it starts off with him trying to bust out the building that he was just in, where he just banged this butterfly, and he's trying to run out there, and he's in his underwear, and they're coming over there to get him with Hallcourt, and he's like, I gotta get, oh, I gotta get stuff, it's important stuff, and he's just, like, robbing the place. There's <laughs> records, and CDs, and toys, and you can tell, he just, he just plays the character of a, of a freaking dumbass. <laughs> like loading it all up, trying to put his clothes on to get out of there, and they're like, hey, you can't go out the front. You got to find another way out. And what does he do? He walks out the window and just looks down. And they're like, is somebody up there? And then they pursue him, which is <laughs> it's just so ridiculous, man. He ties the people up in their apartment. And, and it's just like, <laughs> they're arguing over whether or not this woman wants to fuck <laughs> the beast baker. <laughs> it's like, dude, People are coming. They're looking for me. I've got to get out of here. They're freaking having an argument while he's tying them up. Hilarious. And then his whole, like, just jumping out from balcony to balcony and just eating shit every time he lands. He just eats shit. It's so funny. It is so great because he is such a bad superhero. He's terrible. So they get him out of there. They get him back. Uh, and they won't tell him what a butterfly is still. You know, they got Eagly with him. <laughs> and then you have him back in his in his room, and Vigilante shows up. And Vigilante is another just dumpster fire. Like, who is this person? Who is this character? Why does he have such a cool little suit, though? Maybe maybe it's like one of those TikTok cosplayers who's printed him up a suit. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like, well, I'm here. He's not really, he's just a Vigilante. He's not a superhero. He's just a dude in a suit running around. <laughs> like, with... No ability. It's great. It is too funny. Hallcourt seems like the only like person with their head on straight. And I'll be honest with you, the guy who's running this little clandestine team, I honestly thought that was a woman. Like he, he, the actor plays like this. You could be, he plays a neutral gender individual. The haircut, the voice, the mannerisms. It's extremely neutral gender. So I found that to be fun. Uh, I feel like the show has good potential to be, uh, you know, like just this funny comedy. I don't know. They're going to do their little missions, but it, they're going to just be so fumbled that it'll be hilarious. So while it is still a dumpster fire, I feel like I still, I still feel like it has good potential, you know, to be like not so serious and cheesy, like maybe the, um, like say like the Flash or Arrow or the whole Arrowverse thing on CW, how it was really cheesy. I, I want it to be cheesy, but I want it to be funny. Whereas like the Arrowverse was cheesy, but it was still serious. I want this to be cheesy yet hilarious in every way that it could be. Instead of being like everything goes as planned, so serious. I want, you know, I want him to just be an absolute train wreck of a superhero. So I'm really hoping that's how this pans out. I'm going to watch episode three today, and then we'll be done until Thursday because they're going to release new episodes every week. But if you want to get some Peacemaker gear, I've got three up on the website. This one here says, I cherish peace with all my heart. And then below it, no matter how many men, women, and children I have to kill to get it, which is hilarious. And then I've got another design up there with uh, the Peacemaker logo. It says, fuck, it's Peacemaker. And then we've got an Eagly t-shirt. So... I hope you uh, check those out, order up a couple of them. Uh, they're great, even if you don't know anything about the series like me. I don't I watch the comics, but I like the show. So I hope that this one pans out well. 
Like and subscribe to the channel. Check out other recap and review videos, um, as well as anything else that the Planet Podcast has to offer. And I'll see you guys on Thursday.